Okay, so basically, this is a, this video is about Ohm's law. All right, this one is where you're going to be doing some nice little calculations. Yay, we love that. All right, moving on. So, what exactly is Ohm's law? Well, let me show you what Ohm's law is. Basically, it is a formula. My bad. It is a formula that relates voltage, current, and resistance to one another. So, if you actually know all of one, like if you know if you're able to know one of them, you can find the other. So here's the actual formula. Oops, not V. I equals V over R. If you know one one of these two, like if you know volt, or excuse me, current and you know resistance, you can easily find voltage. Or if you know voltage and resistance, you can find current. So that's basically how those work. All right. So let's go on to this wonderful triangle that I've gotten away from. The I stands for current and it will always be expressed in amps okay or a capital A alright the V is voltage and it will always be in volts or in big ol V's capital V's the R is resistance and it will either be ohms those are these are the units for it or it is omega sign kinda looks like a, a horseshoe an upside down horseshoe alright um, current is kinda weird because that's the only one that starts with an I and the other two, you can easily identify what they are because they, you know, voltage and resistance, you know, they mean something. All right. So let's see how to fill in this little, this little thing on the bottom here. Okay. So this is how you do it. So V equals I times R. This triangle is so helpful because here's the deal. If you know the voltage and you know the resistance, then you cover up the I. So let's say... I is equal to V divided by R. See that? Or if you knew, you know, if you wanted to figure out what the resistance was, you just cover up the R. So now R is equal to V divided by I. And in the same way, if you wanted to know what the voltage was, you cover that up. So now you have the formula V equals I times R. So now it's going to be really easy to solve these problems. If you have this triangle, you'll automatically know what formula you need to use when they ask you for what you're looking for. All right, so let's go and solve a couple of problems real quick. So this is sloppy, but it says a toaster has a resistance of 12 ohms and is plugged into a 120 volt outlet. So if I drew my little triangle real quick, V equals I times R. And it says, yeah, 12 outlet. And it's plugged into a 120 volt outlet. What is the current? So basically, I want to find out this. So now I need to use this formula, I equals V over R. So, as you see, the voltage is 120 volts. The R, the resistance, is 12 ohms. Okay, so now if you divide those together, 120 divided by 12 gives you 10. And what are the units for current? It would be 10 amps. All right, simple as pi. Always feel free to stop me and try to solve this ahead of time. I want you to do that for the next one. Okay. Drawing my little triangle again. V is I times R. It says a laptop runs on a 24 volt battery. If it takes 1.5 amps of current to make it run, what is the resistance? So easy. We're trying to figure out what the R is. So now we're going to use this formula. R equals V over I. All right. So let's do it. Now it's all about plugging in stuff. So the V is the voltage. You have 24 volts divided by the I, which is 1.5 amps. All right, and then if you divide them, then you get 16. And what are we trying to find? Uh, resistance. So you can do this, or you can write ohms. That's how you do that. All right, last one. It says a toy car has 2 amps of current. If the car runs on 4 1.5 batteries, what is the resistance? So here is my thing again, V, I, R. So we want to know what the resistance is. So now we're doing it again. Oops, it's too big. R equals V divided by I. Now, so the voltage, here is a kicker. This says four 1.5 batteries. So that means you have to take this 1.5 times four because you have four of them. So four times 1.5 should give you, I believe, six volts, all right? And you have two amps, so you put that there, okay? What is the resistance? 3 ohms is the total resistance.
All right. That's how you do that. Simple.